In class activity two, a control system has the following plant. Design the controller gains to yield a 9.5% overshoot and a 0.74 second settling time. So the first thing we need to do is to derive the desired closed loop characteristic equation. So the way that we're going to do that is the settling time is 4 over sigma d, which equals 0 0.74. So sigma d is equal to 5.405. The 9.5% overshoot yields a zeta equal to 0 0.6 and a theta equal to 53. 0.16 degrees. So omega d is equal to sigma d times the tangent of 53.16 degrees, which equals 7.214. So the desired poles are at negative 5.405 plus or minus j 7.214. So the desired characteristic equation is S plus 5.405 plus J 7.214 and S plus 5.405 minus J 7.214 times S plus 5. Notice that we have a third order system, so we select this final pole in order to cancel with the zero in the numerator of the open loop transfer function. So when we simplify this, we get that the desired characteristic equation is s squared plus 10.81s plus 81.26 times s plus five, and finally we get s cubed plus 15.81 s squared plus 13.531 s plus 406.3. Next, we will derive the state equations. So I'm going to separate this space over here because we know this is our goal. So over here, I'm going to write the transfer function as an input u of s that goes into a transfer function. 1 over s cubed plus 5s squared plus 4s. Call that output c of s. And then that goes into a transfer function 20s plus 100. And the output's going to be y of s. c of s over u of s is equal to 1 over s cubed plus 5s squared plus 4s, or u is equal to c triple dot plus 5c double dot plus 4c dot. x1 is equal to c, x2 is equal to c dot, x3 is equal to c double dot. x1 dot is equal to c dot, which equals x2. x2 dot is equal to c double dot, which equals x3. And x3 dot is equal to c triple dot, which equals negative 5c double dot, negative 4c dot, plus u. And finally, that equals negative 5x3 minus 4x2 plus u. And y is equal to 20c dot plus 100c, which is equal to 20x2 plus 100x1. And finally, we can write our state equations. 
x dot is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, negative 4, negative 5, x plus 0, 0, 1, u. And y is equal to 120, 0, x. And now we are ready to start the design. So now that we have a, b, and c, the next step is to calculate a minus bk, which is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, negative 4, negative 5, minus 0, 0, 1 times k1, k2, and k3, because we have three states, there will be three gains, and that yields 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, k1, negative k1, negative 4 minus k2, and negative 5 minus k3. Next, we calculate si minus a minus bk, which is equal to s, 0, 0, 0, s, 0, 0, 0, s, minus 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, negative k1, negative 4 minus k2, negative 5 minus k3, which equals s, negative 1, 0, 0, s, negative 1, k, 4 plus k2, and s plus 5 plus k3. So now, delta of s is equal to the determinant of si minus a minus bk, which equals s cubed plus 5 plus k3, s squared plus 4 plus k2 times s plus k1. So now we equate coefficients with our desired characteristic equation, which was s cubed plus 15.81 s squared plus 13.531 s plus 406.3. And finally, we get that k1 is equal to 406.3, k2 is equal to 131, Point thirty one and K three is equal to ten point eighty one. This can also be written as K is equal to four hundred and six point three, a hundred and thirty one point thirty one, and ten point eighty one, a one by three vector. And note here that this should be one thirty five point thirty one.